Hey what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So I'm pretty excited, I've got the new Samsung Galaxy Watch. This is the 46mm Silver Edition. I'm going to be giving you an unboxing and then hopefully show you how to set it up and a quick review to see how it looks. So let's get straight into it. Unbox this now. That looks pretty good. The 46 millimeter one comes in silver only. The 42 millimeter Samsung watch comes in midnight black and rose gold for women. So this is the watch itself. That's a pretty comfortable strap as well. You can also change the strap to various different colors, but this one looks good to me. I'm just going to take these off from these straps. So that's the watch there. I'll power that on in a second. Let's see what else we've got in here. Let's lift this up. So in this box, we have an additional strap. It's the uh, smaller size version of that watch strap. So if you find that your wrist is a, a, a lot smaller than what this strap size is, then you can obviously change that. What else have we got in here? So let's take a look at this. This is the wireless charger, I believe. So you can just place your watch on there. So you just place it like that and it should charge. And this is just the quick start user guide as well in that box. All right, let's see what's in here. There's nothing else in there. And here you have the plug that goes into the wireless charger. So I will put that in, let me take this off as well. So that's pretty much everything in the box. So let me go and turn this on and let's see how it looks. Right, so let's go ahead and turn the watch on. So on the right hand side, you have two buttons. The top one is the back key and the bottom one is the power or the home key. So you hold the power button down and you can see that it's starting up. So we let that load. One other thing you need to do is download the Samsung Galaxy wearable app. So I have it downloaded here. I'm just going to open it up now. It's called Galaxy wearable. Right, so just wait for the Samsung watch to load. It's recommended that you do charge this before you start using it for the first time. But nonetheless, let's see if I can get this connected. So it's just loading up. Okay, so now we can go ahead and try to pair it. So on the app, you click on start the journey click allow, you choose the Galaxy Watch, confirm that the pass key is correct, now you wait for it to connect. So that's it guys, just follow the on-screen instructions, it does take a couple of minutes but once you're all set then you can start using the watch straight away. There is some instructions on how to use the watch on the app itself so you can actually go through this just to get the basic functions out of the way and then you can just start wearing the watch and using it with your phone. It's good to set up the notification settings as well for the types of apps that you want to be notified on the watch but nonetheless let's go ahead and see what this watch can do. That's it. Now you can start using it, you can cycle through all the different apps that come on the watch, contacts, emails, health. Now this is used quite a lot for the fitness part of the uh, Samsung watch. So it comes with about approximately 40 different exercises that you can use in the gym with the watch. But most of the time you may use this for something else, but you can just cycle through. I'll be using this for the next week and giving you an update on the best usage of the watch. Now to set up the notifications, if you go back into the app, go to settings, then notifications, go to manage notifications, and then you can choose the apps that you'd like to be notified on there. It gives you the most common ones, but if there's any that you want to turn off, then by all means you can do that from here. All right guys, so hopefully that was very useful for you. I've just put the watch on, it's very comfortable. I'm gonna get used to this for the next week or so. I'm gonna play around with all the different apps that are on here and I'm gonna report back in another video, so make sure you keep an eye out for those. 
So just some quick information about this watch. It's the 46 millimeter model. I got this one other than the 42 millimeter one only because the battery life is a lot longer. The 42 millimeter Samsung watch is about four days battery life. This is about seven days battery life, which for the additional 20 pounds, I definitely think is worth it. Now this costs 299 pounds. The 42 millimeter one costs 279 pounds. So it's actually not that much of a difference. I do recommend you pay that extra 20 pounds to get the bigger one. One thing that I'm definitely going to try is Samsung Pay. I think the convenience of actually using your watch to make contactless payments is gonna be very useful. So I will be trying that out and we'll report back to you if that goes really well. I will be trying it out in the gym to see how well it performs, tracking all of my different fitness activities. In addition to that, I'm going to see how well it does in notifying me of my messages through WhatsApp, through SMS, and how I can receive phone calls and if I can reply back using voice commands and so on so I'm going to explore all different types of options if I come across any useful tips and tricks I will be reporting that back to you guys very soon so overall if you do have any questions on this Samsung watch then please do drop a comment below I will get back to you very soon I'm going to go ahead and charge this now for a little bit start using it from tomorrow properly and report back to you very soon so keep an eye out for that if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up Take a look at my Instagram at Trending Reviews. I'm gonna be posting pictures of the watch, some tips on the apps I'm using throughout the whole week on my Instagram. You can ask me any questions there as well, so keep an eye out for those. I hope you subscribe, guys, and I will see you at the next one. Take care.